Okay, here we go. I've gone for the sort of the O face look. I don't know if this pattern is any good, but you know, I'm figuring it's distri distributing the the contact nicely. So as you can see, it's going to rest like that. Um, and it gives it a, a nice little distance from the back of the computer too. I don't know if that matters. So another little tricky thing. You know, I'm not a smart man, so I was at first thinking, how am I going to line that up properly with the other parts? Well, you can do this. Put these guys, the other side of the Velcro, on here first. And that way you don't have to try to figure out some sort of template or anything. You just stick them on there. Might have, that might have been obvious to most people, but that actually sort of... <laughs> confused me for half a second. Alright, so now I just flip this over. Let's see if this works. I know this seems kind of silly, but okay, kind of get a little bit of pressure there. Now, let's see how we did. Yeah, it's stuck to that. Yeah. I think that might, that might work. So you have to remove it, you can. I don't know why you would ever again, but if you have to, you can. Put it back down. Okay. I think that's gonna be it's gonna be snug. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention: um, temperature sensor. So this, since this uh, hard drive is, you know, much lower than the uh, original hard drive, I think you're you're good with the, the sensor in terms of its height. It's not gonna come in contact with the back of the LCD. So yeah, just put that back on there, uh, just stick it to the solid state somewhere. I, I kept it on this metal piece. So Now this is going to look really weird, but uh, you know, boot this thing up before you get all these screws back in. You know, I just sort of laid the, the um, bezel back on top of the um, LCD, and the LCD is not even screwed in yet either. But I'm telling you, you know, it's, it's worth it just to, you know, plug it in. I've just plugged in the power, just the power, and I've also plugged in um, my FireWire 800 cable that goes to the external drive, which I'm using to um, boot up from. Um, I, the reason why I'm having to do this is because my my hard drive, the original hard drive, failed. So, yeah, so anyway, just, you know, boot this thing up and make sure it works, that you can, that you can actually see this drive before, let me turn this on, before you um, have to go through the hassle of screwing in all those screws and you know and you might have maybe you forgot to plug in something so let's just boot this up and make sure it works okay so here we are after it started up uh, it said that the disk was not readable by the computer and it gave me the option to initialize which is what you want to do with a new uh, new drive um, and then it'll bring you to disk utility and then I just went to the erase tab and in here you can just like setting up a new drive you can set up for journaled extended mac os drive do erase oh uh, well you want to give it a name anyway from here i think you can probably get through it all right thanks for watching one last comment uh, no matter how many times i watch the videos on how to disassemble the mac and the mention of the different size screws and keep track of where they go, I put them in the wrong place. So this is what happens. It busts through the case on the back. So for any of you that are like me and aren't paying attention, the two long screws when you're doing the, the, um, the case screws, not the LCD screws, but the case screws, so the final screws you're putting in when you're putting this back together. The two long screws, they go along the bottom. <laughs>